Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so sorry I haven't been here posting videos for a week, week and a half. I really have just been in my own life, enjoying my life, and just took a little time off. But I am back now, so I'm happy to be here with you. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what feminine energy has to do with manifesting. This is just from my perspective. I want to start talking a little bit more about feminine energy in my work, in my videos, not all of them, but I happen to be an incredibly feminine being and I really use my feminine energy to manifest. So I want to talk about how I do that. In this video, I'm going to talk about three aspects of feminine energy that can help us manifest. And I just want to say starting out that this is hard for people to understand, but Feminine energy is not just for women. We all have both feminine and masculine energy. Just as a little, you know, just like giving you a little bit about this topic, masculine energy tends to be more about clarity, direction, um, choosing. So we all use those types of qualities when we are manifesting as well. When we're getting clear about what our desire is, when we're focusing in on our, on our desire, when we are not be not wavering from embodying and knowing that our desires is ours, we are using our masculine energy. That's masculine energy. Now, there's also feminine energy that we use when we're manifesting. And so I'm going to talk about three aspects of feminine energy that you can use if you want to manifest. These are three parts of feminine energy that I really use a lot of. So I want to share it with you. Before I jump in, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. And also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. There's 14 courses down there. There is a section on feminine energy if you want to check that out. And one more little announcement. I am posting more and more on Instagram lately. So if you want to see behind the scenes in my life, come on over and follow me on Instagram. There should be a link somewhere on this banner for you to come over to my Instagram. It's also Shelly Bullard Love. And I'm just enjoying sharing little pieces of my life. And I imagine some of you might want to see what's going on behind the scenes in my world. So come on over, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you there as well. Okay, so let's dive into this. What are three aspects of feminine energy that you can use, number one, to become more feminine if you desire to be more feminine? I know I have a lot of followers who are interested in embodying more of their feminine energy, probably because that just feels more authentic for them. Again, myself as a woman and as an extremely feminine woman, um, there was a point in time where I had to choose to embody more feminine energy. And when I started embodying more feminine energy, I felt more and more like myself. So if you want to embody more feminine energy, or if you just want to use these techniques to manifest, you can do so. So what is the first aspect of feminine energy that can help us manifest? This is a this is a beautiful one, and it may be um, surprising, but the first thing that I wrote down, and this is something I definitely do, it is experiencing yourself as filled with love. It's not something I've talked about a lot. Of course, you may you may already know that this is really kind of a branch of self love, but what does it mean to experience yourself as filled with love? Well, for me, it essentially means closing my eyes, tuning into a deeper frequency in my heart center mostly or down the center of my being where I already feel whole, I feel complete, I may feel beautiful, I may feel special, but it's not in relationship to anything outside of me. It's just an inner experience of being love. It can also be, I'm lovable, but again, that gets a little too personal, personalized to me as a person is lovable. Being filled with love for me is more tapping into my spiritual essence, my innate essence, my deeper heart essence within, where I just feel that in this moment, I am whole. I am love. This can be hard for the mind to understand, 
It's a deeper experience of being whole in the moment. So why does this help us manifest? Because it's from your innate experience of wholeness that you are going to create experiences out there that make you feel whole, that make you feel fulfilled, that make you feel um, worthy and happy and all of these things. The outer reality is always reflecting your dominant states back to you. And you are naturally creating things in your outer reality based on your dominant inner states. If you learn to tap into this deeper heart essence, this deeper inner experience of wholeness, you can do so through meditation or through um, yoga will sometimes help people get there. But anything that's helping you concentrate on your inner heart center, inner center line, feeling whole, what you're going to find is you are naturally going to start manifesting incredible things into your life. And it's because your inner state is in a state of wholeness. It's in a state of completion. It's in a state of love. Okay. So that's kind of a larger topic. I am going to be talking more about this. This is really in the realm of spiritual awakening. Like when I had my spiritual awakening, I woke up to the truth that I am love. Not that, not again, not in a personal way. It's just was an inner felt experience of being complete as I am. This is something we can cultivate for ourselves. So again, I'll talk more about this in, in, you know, in the weeks to come, I feel like this is going to be start coming out more in my work, but that's the first thing being filled as love, living as love. This really helps us manifest. The second feminine energetic quality that helps us manifest is feeling yourself as magnetic, feeling yourself as magnetic. Again, this is something that you can cultivate within. You'll notice that I'm not talking so much about thoughts or the mind or telling you, yes, you can tell yourself you're magnetic, but being magnetic in a deeper sense is much more than thinking you're magnetic. It's through your whole body having the experience that life comes to you. Life delivers to you. Your desires come to you doesn't matter what you desire. It's the inner felt experience of it comes to me. Love comes to me. Beautiful experiences come to me. Compliments come to me. Uh, gifts come to me. It can be anything you want, but it's the experience of being magnetic, which is a very feminine quality, is you're not going out to get something. That's actually much more masculine. You're here and allowing whatever it is to come to you. I know for myself on my journey of manifesting, I have definitely cultivated a deep sense of being magnetic, not only when it comes to romantic relationships and with men, like I've definitely done very specifically cultivated that I feel magnetic when it comes to men, but it's also just being magnetic in general. And the inner felt experience is life delivers to me. Life brings goodness to me. Life delivers beauty to me. Life delivers blessings to me. It's just almost a general felt experience that I'm going to, this is the third one, receive. So magnetic, which is the second one, is is the experience of it coming to you, receptivity is you actually taking it in. You taking in the gifts, the beauty, the abundance that is being delivered to you. Receptivity is an extremely feminine quality. For me, it can be cultivated by just savoring beautiful experiences, really letting yourself take in what it feels like to receive blessings, to have blessings come, come to you. I think a key to becoming both more magnetic and more receptive is 
starting to look at the very small ways that life is delivering goodness to you in lots of little ways every single day. I know this has helped over my lifetime really, it's helped me really cultivate an experience that life is always delivering gifts to me. So for example, what I mean by that, and I, I live my life this way right now to this day, I still live my life this way. It wouldn't be uncommon for me to, let's say in the morning, I go get my coffee and I have a beautiful interaction with the woman who's who I'm buying my coffee from. I really, you know, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but I really enjoy that experience. I see that life is delivering me a blessing when someone is really kind to me. And then maybe I'll go look at the ocean and I'll just really take in the beauty of the ocean. And then I'll hang out with a friend later and we'll be in our conversation and I'll just really enjoy the conversation. This is me receiving life, like re receiving it to its fullest. And what it has done for for me, because I've become really good at receiving, I, it's created this loop of me really expecting that life is going to continue to bring me incredible beauty. I'm really going to take it in. I'm going to feel so blessed. I'm going to feel so much gratitude. And it's this amazing loop of like incredible blessings coming to me all the time. The blessings are big and small. I think sometimes when we are manifesting, we just get caught in wanting the big things and we forget that like life is filled with all these small little things. Every single day you are encountering small things that can actually have a big impact on how you feel. They can be big blessings if you see them that way. And so learning how to receive all the blessings, big and small, is really what creates a super rich life. So this is my video for today. The three things that are three feminine energy ways to become an incredible manifester is feel yourself as filled with love. That really just means feel your own wholeness within, your own completion within, your own heart within, number one. Number two, feel yourself as completely magnetic. Life is always delivering to you. And number three, when life delivers to you, receive those blessings and really feel gratitude for them. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being with me in this video. I love being here with you. I will see you very soon.